Hey guys, I thought I might try something a bit different today. Joey was asked to make a spoon for Spoonsville and we thought, well, what characters are there? You've got, I don't know, Batman, uh, he's been done. Uh, Spider-Man, Superman, yeah, yeah, the Hulk. Ooh, but what about, oh, I know, what about the guy from Monopoly? Yeah, the Monopoly man, he might be, hmm. But then we thought, you know what, we've got two spoons, one thin, one round. So what about the two intellectuals from Freedom Tunes? Jester is not associated in any way with Freedom Tunes and has no rights or recollections of these cartoons. So we've got these two spoons, one round, one long. Grab yourself some undercoat because you want to make sure that it's weatherproof and that the paint that you're going to stick on top has something to stick to. So you get a brush, dip it in, slop it on top, and make sure it's coated nicely all the way through. Get it into all the wood grains, all the little nooks and crannies. Make sure it's nicely coated both sides. And don't forget to do the underside as well. Uh, and you want to do all the way along the shaft, because that's the bit that's going to be stuck into the ground. That's it. Get it all the way over there. And here we've got some craft foam, really good for making crafty things. It'll live outside for quite some time before it degrades. We're going to recycle some of the foam bits that we used in some previous craft. And there's no point wasting this stuff, it's pretty good stuff. Alright, so measure yourself out your moustache. It's going to extend past the edge of the spoon. And give it a nice sweeping curve, just like that. A little bit of a dip in the middle, then sweep it down, like so, and a bit of a, a, a goatee beard underneath, that's for the round one, and for the longer dude, measure it again and give it that sweeping curve, pencils are really good here because they mark it quite nicely without making it too dark. Alright, grab your scissors, nice sharp ones, and just Cut around the edges like so. There we go. Cut this bit over here. Make sure you work the scissors as you're sliding it along. If you find that difficult, try getting yourself some really nice sharp scissors. Alright, measure that on top of the spoon. Make sure that fits all good. That looks pretty good to me. And so we'll cut out the other one as well. Let's speed this up a bit. Of course, you want to take your time when you're doing this kind of thing. But camera tricks are great. Alright, and that measures pretty good too. Alright, and then you also want some hair. Spiky hair for the thinner dude, just like that. Measure it. Yep, that looks about right. Yeah, I think so. Looks about right. Now we're making the glasses. Get yourself a round implement and measure it like right so. And just press down hard on the foam, like so. And hey, presto! See that? There's a little mark in there, which means you've got yourself a good guide for your scissors. Make it easy on yourself and just cut out the square and just slowly roll it around inside your scissors to make a perfect circle. Of course, if you've got yourself a hole press, you can use that too, and that'd be grand. Oh, there we go, and it makes a monocle. Alright, we'll do that for the other guy as well. He has spectacles, and so he gets to have two of these. So, quickly just speed through this one. There we go. Ready to rock, let's have a look. Looks good to me. And we want to paint on some white sheen, so just some white acrylic paint. A stiff brush, and just gently put some stripes on there. Now we're going to paint these grey. I didn't have grey, so a bit of black acrylic, a bit of white acrylic paint, mush it all together, and you end up with grey. Alright, now slop that grey on top. For this sort of thing, it's best if you can get enough colour to do all of the hair in the same grey. Because if you have to mix the grey again, and you mix it wrong, add too much black or add too much white, you'll end up with two tones of grey, which is sort of noticeable. 
With cartoon characters, you want an even distribution of the same colour. Right, get it all the way to the edge. The white foam holds it quite nicely. And this will be for the skinny dude's head. I don't know if these guys have names. We just know them as the Debunkers. Great. Oh. Well, that'll do. It'll dry. You get over there. Get. 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 Cool. Let that dry. Alright, now we want some skin tone. Again, I didn't have skin tone, but I do have some basics. So, add a little bit of the white, a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the red, chuck in some orange, and mush it. Mush, 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 and slop it on. It gives it that sort of pinky skin colour tone that you get. Again, try and get that all to be uniform. Alrighty, and now to make the hat. Get yourself a toilet roll, or the inner bit of the toilet roll. Cut it down to size, about that-ish. Squish it down so it's a bit of an oval, and mark it out on some black there, make sure you've got the right height. And what we're going to do here is cut out the length of foam required to fit around that tube. And so I've already pre-marked this, I've rolled the foam up and going, yep, that's about right. Then I'm going to screw it some really strong glue. Foam has a tendency to uh, unravel on itself, so get some good strong glue and then wrap it gently around, fold it over, move an overlap, get a peg, right? and stick it on there, and stick it on there, and that will hold the foam until the glue dries. Make sure it's nice and rigid. While that's drying, get back to painting. And we're going to add uh, a blue shirt, I think they wear. Let me just check, yeah, a blue shirt. And so we're gonna add a blue shirt, and I think they also have a red tie, so we're gonna add a little bit of color there and there, just on the corners, just like that. There we go, a bit on the collar, good. Wash out your brush in between and then give a bit of a red tie. Now don't be too pedantic about this because one, it's going to go in the ground and it's probably get rained on and it's not going to be a work of art, it's no Mona Lisa. Okay? But the other thing is that we'll go over it with a bit of black. Now we're going to mix the suit. I'm after a bit of a charcoal or a gunmetal grey, uh, so sort of that nice darker grey. So we're mixing a fair bit of black and white together, a lot more black this time and using the stiff paintbrush to make that sort of V on the side there. See that? For his little tuxedo. All right, so our glue's dried. So while the other paint is drying, get back to the hat again. I've added a bit of a schmear onto the inner edge just to make sure that stays. Now I'm using a pencil on the foam just to cut around and know where the edges are. Cut out that oval shape and that will form the top of his hat. And then you go and stick that on top. Just put some glue all the way around on the inside there. This glue's getting a bit old, so it took a while for it to get out, but it still works. There we go, and put that on top. And done. While that's drying, we want to make the rim at the bottom. So add a wider oval at the bottom, using the inside bit as sort of a a guide and just give it maybe a centimeter out on the outside. Cut around, cut, 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 snip. And then in the center of that oval you've just drawn, draw two little lines because that is where the spoon is going to go through. We'll cut that out. It's like a little rectangular wedge. There we go. And try to get it to fit to shape just like that. See that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's great. Smear some glue on the bottom edge and stick it on top there and let that dry. All right, time to assemble. Make sure you've got everything where it needs to be. The skinny dude has sort of the hair on top and the moustache at the bottom. The rounded dude has the, uh, the one with the goatee. Get some glue, smush it. 
lots of glue. That's it. Smear it on. And make sure you position these things beforehand because you don't want to have to adjust them afterwards. Let's stick that moustache on there. The hair on there. Now the other guy's the beard and moustache. Stick that there, lots of glue. And really squish it down because it's going to be in the rain. So you want plenty of glue. For a monocle, stick it on there. And for his spectacles, you want two of these things. And one on that side, and one on that side. Done. Now use your fine liner to draw in his little squinty eye. There you go. And a bit of the beard just to define it. And then we can go over the tie and the collar just to give it a bit of definition. There we go. Not looking too bad, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not bad, not bad. All right. So, varnish, either gloss varnish or satin varnish, in fact even if you use matte that doesn't matter, just get something on there in order to protect it from the weather. As a tip, if you're going over the fine liner and it's water based, make sure you just daub the varnish on gently and try not to smear it, let it dry and then go over with a second coat because otherwise you can smear the fine liner. Dun, 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 dun get some glue on that hat. Alright, does it pass the Joey... It, the... Yep, yeah, I, th I think it passes the Joey test. Joey approved. He'd give a thumbs up if he had spare hands. I'm a brilliant intellectual. As am I. <laughs> I think he's pretty stoked with that. That's all, folks. And thanks for watching. Now get cracking on your own spoons.